Welcome to it. It's time to pour another pint of knowledge. Brewed there, drank that, and all that ails proudly present another edition of the rounds. And uh, we're living out our commitment to bring you the freshest and tastiest in all that brews each and every day here on the rounds. And uh, today is no exception. We're swinging out to Salt Lake City to check out Uinta Brewing and their doobie. So the doobie, what is it? Not the one that's in your mouth. The one right here in the bottom. The doobie is an Imperial Black IPA and I'm gonna give you another close up here. If you guys can get a look at that, you see that bright lit star right there? Doobie is, was actually named the Centennial Star of uh, Utah, Utah uh, in 1996. And the actual name of the star is Alpha Ursa Majoris. Uh, this star lies about 124 light years from our tiny little speck of dust and is a red giant, um, at least four times the size of our sun from what I understand. Um, so, uh, interesting note about this Imperial Black IPA, it is brewed with hemp seed. Huh. I'm um, very interested to see how they were able to work around the laws because hemp seed produced here in the U.S. is greeted with the same hostilities that cannabis is greeted with. Um, hemp seed from other countries, however, namely Canada, is widely accepted and used here in our country. Um, I'm getting big citrusy notes from here in terms of the hot profile. Uh, this puppy is huge. Uh, comes in at 9.2% alcohol by volume, 109 IBUs, uh, is a four pack and will run you $8.99, I believe, uh, which for a four pack price is, is bang on. That's what I say. We'll see what the brew has to offer. Yeah, big hot profile. A lot of, lot of orange citrus to it, not quite lemony. As it starts to open, I'm starting to get some nice roast notes. And for those of you who weren't aware, I'm kind of skipping the color just because this puppy's black as night. Um, red highlights around the edge, but black as night. You, you're not going to be seeing through this one anytime soon. Thick, frothy head. Um, definitely a khaki color. Definitely hops on the nose. Um, it's just hops and roast. There is that little something extra in there, and I'm wondering if that's not the hemp seed. Mmm. Wow. Man, I'm getting really lucky with the past few beers I've picked out. Um, nice hot profile to it. Though dark as night, do not be intimidated. This does not have a super heavy mouthfeel to it. There's something really familiar about a quarter of the way through the flavor profile, and I'm trying to nail down what it is for you. The roast malts are nice. Um, again, really dark in cover, color, but these are not heavily roasted malts. And, and that saying that is almost a contradiction because to get malt this color, you have to roast it for a long time, higher temperatures, um, almost to the point where you burn the malt. But it's, it's really kind of a killer mix they've got going on. I think it's that hemp seed maybe that I'm picking up. Uh, I'm, there's a big transition. It is hop forward, uh, kind of a hop bomb. It's not bombing you throughout, uh, but definitely a hop bomb right up front, right as it hits your tongue, hits your mouth. And then about a quarter of the way through, I'm thinking I'm picking up this extra flavor. And it doesn't seem like it would belong to either the hops or the malt. So I'm guessing it's that hemp seed. Uh, and the hemp seed kind of carries through about a quarter of the flavor profile. And then right about halfway through, the malts really pick up. And they're not, they're not over the top. Um, but big enough to hold up to 109 IBUs 
and then everything just kind of mellows out. This is really, really well done. Um, 9.2%, so don't be fooled. This one will sneak up on you if you let it. And uh, price point, fantastic. $8.99 for a four pack. It's exactly where it should be. Um, a lot of a lot of breweries will try and upcharge as soon as you move into the four pack range, uh, which isn't always justifiable in my opinion. Uh, to move up to a $12 four pack, I really believe you have to be producing uh, a high grab. Uh, you also need to be using uh, copious amounts of harder to find materials. Uh, for instance, like hops that aren't necessarily as readily available, uh, or you know, specialty malts that you've had malted just for your brewery. These are situations where I feel like a jump in price for a four pack is reasonable. Now I can I can tell you, and I'm not going to name names, but. A couple of breweries that that I normally really enjoy lately have dropped ten dollar four packs, and it's session beer, and I got huge beef with you guys over that. That I mean, that's kind of shysty. That's I mean, that is what it is. The reason people buy session beer is ideally speaking so that they'll be able to drink more than one. You know, you don't have to worry about it. It's a session beer. It's low alcohol. It normally means you don't need as much malt because you don't need as many fermentable sugars because if you had more fermentable sugars, you'd create a higher alcohol beer. So, like I said, there's two breweries that I have off the top of my head. I'm not naming names, but they've dropped four packs that are 10 or $12 and they're session beers. And you're not using any crazy hard to come by ingredients. You're not using any crazy hard to come by hops. There's no... Uh, barrel aging that might justify that kind of, of jump in cost and I mean don't get me wrong I mean you guys you guys work in the industry I love like beer American independent beer fantastic but I mean how I mean when you start making moves like this it makes people inclined to believe that not too far down the line you guys will end up making some of the moves that have made you hate AB InBev so much Hey, SAB Miller so much um, and I know you know politics uh, of the business a lot of the smaller breweries won't say anything bad you know you don't you don't attack a, a well defended city I get that but at the same time you know there's so much of that anti-establishment mentality in craft beer that says you know the way AB InBev and, and SAB Miller have done business is unacceptable uh, and you, if you're striving to differentiate yourselves, I can't see you putting out a four pack, charging more for it, and and putting in less expenditure into it. You know, you guys pride yourselves on producing a higher quality of product, not necessarily a higher price point. You know, is that's just a personal thing with me. Um, so this is fantastic. The Doobie is absolutely delicious. Uh, it is an Imperial Black IPA, 9.2% alcohol by volume, 109 IBUs. Comes in a four pack that is perfectly priced at $8.99. And uh, I got to be honest, this is probably the first uh, you into brewing in general. It's probably the first thing I've really liked from Utah, maybe ever. <laughs> uh, you know, don't get me wrong, I wish I had more than one wife. Uh, but whatever. Um, so that being said, guys, this has been another edition of the Browns, and thank you for joining me. Uh, remember, drink American, drink independent, and drink to your health. We'll see you over our next pint here on the Rounds. My name's Glenn. Thanks so much.